Hello dear student assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss about our first lecture introduction to biotechnology in this lecture we are going to discuss what is biotechnology some definitions of biotechnology what is microbial biotechnology then we will discuss about some uh, that what is interdisciplinary pursuit branches of biotechnology sub fields of biotechnology applications of biotechnology scope and importance of biotechnology so welcome to the wonderful world of biotechnology the use of living cells or molecules to solve problems and make useful products and applications so looking back on the last few years it is very difficult to imagine life without biotechnology due to understanding of biotechnology it addresses the background and applications of biotechnology in many aspects of today's society and its basic principles and fantastic potential and very real risk is very essential if we want to have its positive impacts on today's public debate and biotechnology is an ancient science first uh, practiced by people who selected which plant to save which livestock to cross and which fermented juices to drink so biotechnology is actually not a new science it is uh, actually an old science uh, there are so many examples of uh, old biotechnology ancient biotechnology like uh, fermentation products and crossing and breeding of uh, different animals and plant varieties in fermentation products like yogurt production wine production and many other products like cheese production are the examples of old biotechnology and biotechnology uh, emerged uh, in 1970s as a major discipline of biological sciences initially it was considered as a branch of engineering uh, and then later on after uh, 1970s when cohen and boyer un- introduced some genetic engineer techniques so then it was considered as a major discipline of biological sciences so what is biotechnology so we can uh, divide this uh, biotechnology word into three parts bios means life tecos means tool and logos means study so the literal meanings of biotechnology is the study of tools from the living till living things so it is important to note that there is some major difference between biotechnology and biosciences in uh, what we do in bioscience we study the science of studying the fundamentals of living organisms however in biotechnology uh, what we do there for we use different organisms and their products for making useful products for example the use of bacteria and viruses in making antibiotics and vaccines respectively so thus uh, bioscience is the science of studying the fundamentals of living organism in which we study the structures the functions of an organism at very small scale and then uh, when we use those microorganisms or their products at commercial scale and we do some scale up techniques and we produce uh, those compounds at massive scale so this is called biotechnology and in biotechnology we also use some other techniques also that is why it is also called clever science of biology also in which we use uh, biochemistry techniques molecular biology techniques and engineering techniques to solve a problem to scale up the technology also thus we can say that bioscience teaches us the internal organization of living organism whereas biotechnology teaches us how these living organisms are used for the benefits of human beings here are some definitions of biotechnology uh, biotechnology is a field that uses biological system or living organisms to manufacture products or develop processes that ultimately benefit human beings there are some other definitions also like the use of biological processes to make Uh, different products and also the production of genetically modified organisms or manufacture of products from genetically modified organisms are definition all these definitions are true and uh, when we divide this by technology uh, and we can see that there are some cellular processes and there are molecular processes 
and these uh, processes lead to the production of products and to solve different problems. What is microbial biotechnology? Microbial biotechnology uh, is a technology in which uh, we use microbial cells or their products to make products or to solve problems or different processes for some specific use. And there are many examples of microbial biotechnology. One of the example is microbial bioremediation in which we uh, use different microorganisms or plants. Uh, in microbial bioremediation, we use only microbes. Uh, however, there is bioremediation also in which uh, we use, uh, micro, we use uh, different plants. In microbial products uh, production, antibiotics, insulin, and antibiotics, insulin, and many other products uh, like uh, uh, therapeutic proteins, etc., are also produced in the microbial products production. There are many other products like uh, uh, yogurt production and uh, other products uh, like uh, wine production, etc., can also be produced using microbial cells. And there are some microbial biofertilizers also, uh, which uh, also uh, are produced using the microbial cells and uh, they can be also used in bio mining process and they can be used in uh, bio insecticides also. Different uh, biological insecticides can be produced using microbial cells and then there are many fermentation products like wine production, citric acid production, uh, yogurt production, etc., are produced using these fermentation technologies. So, we should not debate on which of the given definition is true because all of the definitions of the biotechnology are true in their respective ways. For example, if we ask a farmer uh, what is biotechnology, he or, me, uh, he or she may say that biotechnology is to produce high yield or pest resistant crops. And if we pose the same question to a doctor, uh, they may reply that biotechnology is to make vaccines, antibiotics, insulins, etc. And we ask uh, the same question to the engineer, so they may reply that biotechnology is just designing of new diagnostic tools for better understanding of human beings. So we should not debate on which of the given definition is true because all definitions are true in their own respective ways. History of biotechnology is divided into three main stages, ancient biotechnology, classical biotechnology, and modern biotechnology. So in ancient biotechnology, over the centuries, our ancestors have been using breeding techniques based on phenotypic characteristics to create animals and plants of desirable traits for high milk producing cows and uh, benefits like high yield crops. And in classical biotechnology, which was built on ancient biotechnology, uh, fermentation promoted food production and medicine were produced in the classical biotechnology. There are so many other examples also. In modern biotechnology, uh, they manipulate the genetic information in organism and through genetic engineering, they create better crop varieties, better animal varieties. History of biotechnology. To most people, biotechnology seems very modern. However, it could still be traced back to several centuries. By its strict definition, the manipulation of living organism biotechnology is in fact one of the most ancient science. Carl Ehrlich uh, was a Hungarian engineer and he first time coined the term biotechnology in 1919. And this biotechnology term first time appeared in, uh, in an article entitled Biotechnology published in 1933. Uh, then in 1947, biotechnology was considered as a branch of engineering. Uh, and they considered it that uh, it can help in the development and exploitation of machines in relation to various needs of human beings. Then the seeds for biotechnology were sown in 1953 when uh, James Watson and Francis Crick uh, find out that uh, how four bases could appear to form the self-cropping code of DNA molecules. Then it was uh, followed by 
uh, other techniques like immobilization techniques in uh, also the main era started of the main era of the new biotechnology actually started in 1973 when Cohen and Boyer and the discovery of uh, hybridoma technology for the production of monoclonal antibodies in 1970s by Milstein and Cooler. Actually in 1970 was the uh, main era for the modern biotechnology when Cohen and Boyer introduced some genetic engineered techniques. So in classical biotechnology, the term classical biotechnology is mainly used to describe the course of development that fermentation has taken since the ancient biotechnology period. Like uh, there was production of ethanol, yogurt production, cheese production, etc. And uh, there was uh, wastewater treatment, uh, municipal composting of solid waste uh, are the largest capacity fermentation processes carried out in the classical biotechnology. Then in 1940s, engineering techniques were introduced to the mass cultivation of microbes and knowledge of fermentation has increased to such a level that a large number of important industrial compounds were produced in that era. Modern biotechnology actually started in 1970s with the arrival of genetics and recombinant DNA technology and this recombinant, uh, genet recombinant DNA technology and genetic engineering techniques were actually introduced by Cohen and Boyer. And there are so many other techniques like cell culture, fusion, bioprocessing, genetic engineering were named as modern biotechnology also. And man has continued uh, his quest for the improving the natural capabilities of microorganisms to improve its natural capabilities and produce better uh, microbes for the better with better characteristics and also make them capable of novel processes were introduced into the microorganisms and discovering microorganisms with novel capabilities like producing new enzymes, new biodetergent, etc. This has uh, to lead the development of recombinant DNA technology also in which new genes were introduced into some microorganism and many new biotechnologies do not involve the modification of traits passed on to the next generation. And uh, a good example is the production of monoclonal antibodies and cloning also. And uh, modern biotechnology is actually the result of uh, scientific discoveries and technological developments and uh, hence uh, recombinant DNA technology uh, uh, came into 1970s which uh, bring the major shift in the biotechnology and then biotechnology was actually considered part of the biological sciences. There were two scientists named uh, Stanley and Cohen and Herbert Boyer. Uh, they actually introduced recombinant DNA technology and uh, biotechnology which was initiated by these two scientists. And Stanley Cohen uh, received the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1986 for his work on the discoveries of growth factors and Boyer who constructed the first recombinant DNA using bacterial DNA and plasmids. Development of modern biotechnology in early 1970s technologies for the manipulation of nucleic acid were emerged uh, because of the discoveries of Cohen and Boyer and in turn these technologies led to the construction of a DNA molecule. Uh, which was composed of nucleotide sequences taken from the different sources and this uh, combined uh, product of uh, DNA molecules was called uh, recombinant DNA molecules and this technology was called as a recombinant DNA 